Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hi, this is Achal. I am 18 and I gave NEET 2021 in which I managed to score 681 marks in total and in chemistry my score was 166. So yeah, just wanted to give you guys some advice and hope this helps you as well. Of all the subjects, I found chemistry to be the most difficult one. There were many tears. I found organic particularly to be more difficult. I remember there were times I scored only 100 by 20 marks. So yeah, I definitely did improve a lot. Okay, so my first tip would be to print your syllabus. You can then go through it and order topics like for physical chemistry. I think you should start with mole concept and uh, atomic structure. For inorganic, you should start with chemical bonding and periodic table. Similarly, for organic, I feel IUPC, isomerism, then GOC1, in which we are taught with hyperconjugation, resonance, inductive effect, and then GOC2, in which we are taught with the uh, introduction of the various different types of reactions that you would encounter in organic chemistry. These chapters build the foundation for our subject, so it is very important that you have all the concepts clear in your mind. So find a good teacher and get your, all your doubts resolved. Speaking for physical chemistry, I think making formula sheets for each chapter would be very beneficial to solve formula-based numericals that often come in need. But only learning all the formulas isn't enough. You should also know how to apply them. You get the hang of it once you solve hundreds of MCQs. Practice NEET, AIMS, JIPMA, J E Mains, PVC a question. And also Narendra Avasti is a good book which you can refer to solve the MCQs. Also for theoretical questions that often come, you should stick to the NCRT and have a thorough reading of it word by word, particularly for chapters like solution, surface chemistry, uh, solid state, thermodynamics, word by word reading of NCRT is a must. Also for people like me who make a hell lot of silly mistake, I think that you should try to solve uh, questions and make calculations in a neat way. Do not just scribble onto the pages. Do proper calculation in boxes so you can revisit those and rectify any errors if you have made. In inorganic chemistry, there are many reactions, ex exceptions, orders that need to be learned and I feel inorganic chemistry is a little bit difficult and trust me, no one can learn them at one go. It requires repeated revision over a span of few days. Write these facts and reactions on a sheet of paper and paste these onto uh, the walls beside your study table and uh, read this when you are brushing your teeth or having your snacks. For inorganic chemistry, I feel there are topics that are more important than the others and you come to know this when you solve questions and analyze them because there is a limited content from which multiple questions are asked. Like for example, the uses of some S block elements, uh, the color characteristics of some P block elements, the particular reaction of some P block elements are important. Also the color and characteristics of certain compounds which are given in the boxes and, and the tables in the NCRT are super important. Okay, organic chemistry didn't click with me until basically the end of standard 11th and I feel to study organic, you need to have a patience and you need to study them step by step. You don't need to jump onto the actual topics of carbon compounds once your basics like general organic chemistry is not clear. It is very essential to go step by step during your preparation of organic. For organic, I basically relied on my lecture notes to study the reaction mechanism, the intermediates that we encounter. Also named reactions that are given in NCRT are super important. Every year we see questions coming from this. For question practice, you can refer to MS Chauhan. It is a really nice book. For some specific chapters like environmental chemistry, biomolecules, polymers and chemistry in everyday life. I feel that word by word reading of NCRT becomes essential and these are the topics which can give you free marks. There is nothing as such a concept to learn but uh, there are stuff that need to be remembered. For organic particularly, I feel that the in-text questions, the solved example and the NCRT back exercises are important. 
Many students also skip the portion of qualitative and quantitative analysis, the separation techniques that are given. I feel you shouldn't do that and uh, please do read them once as well. So to summarize, first, majority of questions are derived from previous year question. Second, NCRT is super important. Practice each and every solved example that is given in text questions and also the back exercise. Third, we should try to attempt the whole chemistry section of NEED in around 45 to 50 minutes. Also a pro tip, uh, you can make a study group of people who are sincere with their preparation and uh, you know solve questions together. It is always great to learn from others and you can see how they approach a particular question and it could be beneficial to you as well. So try to teach concepts to others because it makes your concept way more stronger. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and this helps you as well. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you.